It has changed my life and this is so exciting and I'm so happy to be here to share this incredible science with everyone. Twelve years ago, Jesse Owens' life changed completely. I broke my neck at C3, C4, um, and actually left Harborview Hospital in a power wheelchair with a chin drive. Jesse was in a car accident that left her severely injured. I eventually was able to get enough hand function back to just drive with, with a hand held, but not much more than that. It's been a long road to recovery for Jesse, but it's now her journey that carries more hope. But I love being able to share and watch everyone's face change when they can see the physical difference right away. This is a battery powered stimulator that generates the current. Jesse was one of the first patients to try a new spinal nerve stimulator. The stimulator is non-invasive, so it means it attaches to the surface of the skin over the spinal cord, and it makes it easier to move and easier to feel the parts of the body below the spinal cord injury. Would you please try to extend your arm? Dr. Chet Moritz is a professor of rehabilitation medicine at UW Medicine. He was one of the lead researchers studying the impact of this device with patients who had lost hand function after a spinal cord injury. It's extremely gratifying to see something that the lab, the team has worked on for so many years now be available in the clinic so that many more people can benefit. I feel more impacts after it's been on 15, 20 minutes. We also see beneficial effects in other body systems like heart rate, blood pressure, bladder and bowel function for some individuals. And those are also very high treatment priorities. Jesse participated in the clinical trial and says this device opens up a whole new world of possibilities. I was so overjoyed and I was able to make meaningful changes in my life with less caregiving, uh, moving on more independently, more confidence to go out and date and then get married and have kids. It's just the beginning, but Moritz hopes there's more to come. We hope to see many people who used to be told when they had a spinal cord injury that they would be paralyzed for the rest of their lives now have hope that by working very hard in rehabilitation and in combination with this stimulator, they can regain some level of function and some level of quality of life. This device is the first FDA-approved spinal cord stimulator. The device will be available very soon for patients.